What's up guys, so on this channel we are all about giving musicians the right advice to have a career in music and then I thought what about the stupidest advice I've ever heard. That advice that really makes my skin crawl. So today we're talking about the six worst pieces of advice that I have ever heard. Number one is say yes to everything. What a ridiculous piece of advice. And it's usually given to you by a parent or a college tutor. You should say yes to everything. Say yes and figure it out later. Well, let me tell you a story way back in the day, which was probably actually a Friday night, I took on a sight reading gig. Why? Because my reading wasn't that bad. And someone said, you really got to throw yourself in. So I thought I'm going to throw myself in. And I did. I took on a sight reading gig, which was totally fine right up until the point where I opened the book and thought to myself, I have made a terrible mistake. And it was the longest two hours of my entire life. What an awful piece of advice. Say yes to everything. Now there's a phrase that springs to mind, which is a busy fool. And a busy fool is what sums up saying yes to everything. If you want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, it means you prioritize. It means you're only taking on work, you're only taking on opportunities, and you're only working on things that will help you get from point A to point B. If you say yes to everything, then that point A to point B, instead of being in a straight line, is all of a sudden spaghetti junction. It's an awful piece of advice. And let me tell you something, the word no is the most powerful word that you can have when you are trying to have a career in music. Number two on the stupidest pieces of advice ever given to musicians is never quit. Yes, rock and roll, isn't it? never quit, always keep on going. Although it doesn't actually tell the full story, does it? Never quit doesn't mean that you succeed. Just because you don't stop, it doesn't mean you don't fail. It means you just keep on going. Now, a good piece of advice would be stay in the game, which is very different to not quitting. But if things that we are doing aren't working, then we need to change them. We need to learn from what we're doing. We need to adapt. We need to evolve. We need to change them. And then we need to go again. Just because we don't stop and we don't quit, if we don't evolve, we are on the same road going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards until we decide to change. Otherwise, what happens? you quit. So when people say never quit, absolutely be relentless. But it's not about not quitting. Quitting is fine. It's about evolving. Quitting the things that aren't working and evolving into the things that are working. Number three, it's all about the music. Classic bad advice. It's all about the music. Except, what if your music is not getting heard? Hmm. Yeah, there's a problem, isn't it? I made the music, the music's amazing, no one's listening to the music. In which case, that's horrible advice. Music is absolutely the heartbeat of everything that you do, but only a fool would think that that is the be-all and end-all. In fact, it sounds to me like a surefire way to get ripped off by a label. It's just about the music, don't you know? The label's gonna be thinking, absolutely, it's all about the music, as they claw and rake in all of the money off your brand. Number four, don't force inspiration. Write or practice when you feel inspired. I hate this advice. That's right. You should write songs when you feel like it. What a terrible piece of advice. Imagine a coach saying that to a pro sports person. They turn up for practice. It's like, how are you feeling? I'm not really feeling up to it. No problem. See you tomorrow, maybe? If I feel like it. Okay, bye-bye then. What a ridiculous piece of advice. This is the music industry. This is the most competitive industry in the world. So the correct advice should be, in order for you to look after your mental health, then you need to find ways to be inspired. You need to allocate time in order to be able to do the things that you need to do. But you still need to do these things. In order to be inspired, you might need to read books, you might need to watch, you might need to visit, you might need to travel, you might need to talk to people. You still need to allocate time. You still need to find people that inspire you that you can work with them. Because if you don't write, if you don't do, then it will not be done and no one will be able to find you. Because being inspired is important, but if you don't seek out that inspiration, and more importantly, if you don't do the writing, if you don't do the practice, then how are you going to compete? on a level with other people who are doing this every hour of every day. The trick here is not right when you're inspired. The trick is how can you stay inspired? Number five on stupid pieces of advice given to musicians, you're too old to make it. Brilliant. <laughs> what I love about this is too old to make it. What's it? <laughs> 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 
too old to make what? Too old to make music? Too old to be successful? In which case, define what successful is. Are you too old to actually figure out how chords go together? Or are you too old to figure out how Spotify works? Or are you so old and decrepit that you can't figure out how to make your own Instagram profile? What a ridiculous piece of advice this is. Nobody says you're too young to make it. Nobody says you're too ugly to make it. Nobody says you're too stupid to make it. But for some reason, you can be too old to make it. The reality when it comes to age and music is demographic, which is, yes, if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, your demographic probably isn't 15 year olds. But why would you want it to be? Your demographic is probably going to be 50, 60, 70 year olds. Makes complete sense. You are making music because you love it, because you have a passion for it. And therefore, that will be reflected and other people will be able to find that passion and say, this is a piece of me and connect with it. So therefore, what is it if you're too old to make it? I just don't understand. And number six, the number of followers matter. Now, people don't actually say this, but it's in their actions every single day. We have to grow these numbers. I've got 10,000 followers on Instagram. Great, that's fantastic. How many of those people are fans? And if they say three, those are the ones that matter. Those three people, not the 9,997 other people, the three people who genuinely care, the three people who engage, the three people that share, the three people that buy and listen to your music. Those are the people that matter, not the rest of them. The rest of them are just an audience. What we are building is a fan base. We are building an army. And the difference is an audience will listen but a fan base will buy. Now, the reason why I hate this advice, well, I hate this mindset, is because you can't win. It's never enough. You start by thinking, God, imagine if we could get to a thousand. And then you get to a thousand and go, actually, that isn't enough. I need 10,000. And then you get to 10,000. Mm, actually, it's probably more like 100,000 or 500,000 over a million. There's always that next number. Meanwhile, you're always looking for those people to come in and you're not looking after the people who've come in. These people that say, actually, do you know what? I like your music. I like you. I want more. And you say, shut up, sit down. I've got some more people to go and get first. It's the wrong mindset. We need to stop treating people like a counter and we need to start treating people like a fan. And that's how you make content which brings value to people because you're thinking about them. What do they want? What can I give them that they will like, that they will share, that they will tell their friends, that will make them even more into a fan so they will buy more stuff? So the numbers do matter, but not follower numbers or Spotify numbers what actually matters are fan numbers. Those are the people to find and those are the people to look after. So those are the six most stupidest pieces of advice given to musicians. And if anyone says any of those pieces of advice to you, then you have my permission to punch them right in the face. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. But why should it stop there? I want to know your favorite stupid piece of advice in the comments. Maybe it's something like, Damo, you should definitely stop wearing that shirt because it's horrific. Touché. I want to know the advice that you have been given that you just thought, who came up with that absolutely ridiculous piece of advice? Leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, then hit that like button because it really does make a difference. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you next week.